Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to delve into a significant milestone in India's defense sector, the export of the indigenously developed Panaka multi-barrel rocket launchers to Armenia. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. In a groundbreaking arms deal last September, India marked its first ever export of the indigenously designed Panaka multi-barrel rocket launchers MBRL to Armenia a deal which materialized in light of the recent clashes between Armenian and Azerbaijan troops. This strategic move, valued at around 250 to 260 million US dollar, was to help the Armenian army at the time of trouble with Azerbaijan. The deal included not just the Panaka MBRLs, but also anti-tank missiles, rockets, and other ammunition, marking a significant milestone in India's defense export capabilities. The Panaka system is known for its quick shooting and moving ability, very much like the Russian-made GRAD system. This makes it a good addition to Armenia's military, especially to protect against drone threats from Azerbaijan. Panaka was made in the 1980s by our own Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, to give a strong rocket system to the Indian Army. The system can fire 12 high-explosive rockets quickly in just 44 seconds, covering distances from 40 kilometers to 90 kilometers in different versions. In recent times, new tests and improvements were made to the Pinaka system to make it even better. Like the extended range Pinaka, which can fire up to 45 kilometers, tested in 2020. Azerbaijan, which is not on good terms with Armenia, didn't like this deal at all. They saw it as a threat and talked to the Indian ambassador about it, showing their worry over increasing military strength in Armenia. This deal also puts India and Armenia together against some common challenges in the region, and there are talks that even France might join India to support Armenia, making the situation in the area very interesting. When we compare Pinaka with other famous rocket systems of the world, like the US's high-mobility artillery rocket system Hemmers and Russia's Smirch, Pinaka holds a strong position with its quick-firing ability. Even though HIMARS and Smirch can fire longer distances, Pinaka's quick action and India-made technology make it special for the Indian Army, showing India's growing ability to make its own defense technology. The latest update on this deal is that the first batch of Panaka rockets was flagged off from Ordnance Factory Ambashari in India on October 5, 2023, marking the beginning of the delivery phase of the agreement. This event reflects India's growing stature in the global defense industry, showing the world India's capability in not just making high-quality defense equipment, but also in fulfilling international agreements on time. This deal is like opening a new door for India's defense business and friendships with other countries. With a record 13,000 crore rupees in defense exports in the last fiscal year, India's aim to increase its defense exports is becoming real. The successful sale of Pinaka could lead to more such deals, putting India on a bigger map as a reliable defense equipment seller and could start a new phase of stronger defense relationships, helping India to have a stronger position in the global defense scene. Through such big deals, India is moving forward to become a strong player in the international arms market while making good defense friendships around the world. Thank you for joining us in today's discussion on the notable export of Panaka rocket systems to Armenia and its broader implications. Please like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates on crucial topics. Stay tuned for more and we'll see you in the next video.